Hey guys, Marcel here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Guys, today I've got a great recipe for those of us that are gluten-free or low-carb or even just watching what you're eating, watching your caloric intake like I am. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I make these easy homemade cauliflower sandwich thins. And uh, these things have been all the rage in the uh, weight loss community. Um, people like to use them to sandwich burgers in them or to eat, make open face sandwiches with. Um, anyhow, I love them too. Uh, a lot of people purchase these pre-made at stores like Aldi and uh, what's the other one? Trader Joe's that, that I have, I don't have those kind of cool stores anywhere near me. <laughs> so I had to make these myself and I'm glad I did because I, I love this recipe. I seriously make it weekly and uh, in fact, I'll show you a picture here of one of these homemade cauliflower sandwich thins with some egg salad on it. I love egg salad too. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to quit blabbering. I'm going to turn you around and show you the ingredients so we can start making these sandwich thins. All right, y'all. Well, here's everything I use to put together these easy, delicious homemade cauliflower sandwich thins. All right, so we're going to start with the star of the show. Here I have a frozen steamable bag, 12 ounces of cauliflower rice. And here's another bag that I've already cooked and it's been sitting in this bowl and uh, cooling off for quite some time. Uh, so after you steam it and cook it according to package directions, it needs to sit and cool completely because we're gonna be adding to this mix two large eggs that have been well beaten. Here I've got a third cup of grated Parmesan cheese. This is just the stuff from the green can. Two tablespoons of coconut flour. If you want it, alternatively, you could use two tablespoons of almond flour. Here I have a, a half teaspoon each of salt and pepper. We're going to be adding another half teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then we've got a third cup here of shredded mozzarella cheese. And that is it all right oh and preparation wise guys i have a baking sheet here that i've already got ready to go it's lined with a non-stick silicone baking mat and if you don't have any of these handy in your kitchen just use some parchment paper um all right so this is literally everything in all these goodies are going right into this bowl Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get our cauliflower sandwich thins on the baking sheet. I'm gonna start with a quarter cup measuring cup uh, and I'm just going to pack in this cauliflower mixture into my measuring cup. And then I'm just gonna, you know, use this kind of like a mold, I guess, but then we're gonna plop it out here on the um, prepared baking sheet and then just using this Fancy equipment here, our small silicone um, spatula, we're just going to basically pat this down into the form of a disc. Um, I do recommend that you take the time to get these edges right, just because I think it helps them hold their structure a little better when you're putting sandwich toppings and things on them. But we're gonna go ahead and pat this down to about a four to a four and a half inch diameter disc and they'll end up being about a third of an inch in thickness. And so there you have it. There's number one. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna be able to get 
mm, probably about six of these, maybe eight on this baking sheet. And then my oven is preset to 400 guys and these will bake for about 20 to 25 minutes or until these edges are golden brown and the middle is, you know, looking done. All right, so I'm gonna keep pressing these down and getting these into shape and then um, I'll come back and show you what they look like when they're nice and toasty and golden brown. Okay guys, so here's one last shot of them before they go in the oven. You can maybe get a better feel for how thick they are. Uh, like I said, probably about a third of an inch. And then look how I've kept those edges at least fairly clean. I, I used my little spatula and packed them around. Um, all right guys, they're going into the oven now. I'll show you the end product here in a bit. Okay guys, well thank you so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes and letting me show you how I make these easy homemade cauliflower thins. Um, it really is an easy recipe. It does take just a little patience to get them formed on the baking sheet and patted down just right, but it, trust me, it is really, really worth that little bit of effort. Um, I use these as a low calorie replacement for bread. Uh, when I'm eating hamburgers, I like to sandwich my burger patty between them with cheese and a little vegetables. And they're really, they hold it really well. They don't get watered down. Um, they're, they're very hearty. Uh, another way I like to use them is open face sandwiches. I showed you a picture of the egg salad. I love egg salad, but I also love the other creamy salad fillings like chicken salad, tuna salad. These work perfect uh, for those as well. And then another way I like to use these guys is I like to use them as a replacement for hash browns with my morning breakfast. So actually I'll take some scrambled eggs and some cheese and some green onions and stack it on top like an open-faced breakfast sandwich. And I just enjoy that so much for a heartier breakfast. Um, but also guys, even if you don't think this is a recipe you might use for yourself, uh, it seems like we all have somebody in our family or on our friends list who's gone gluten-free or following a low carb regimen are just looking to um, reduce their calories and their carbs like myself. And this is a great option to, a great recipe to have on hand when you know you're gonna be entertaining those members of your family or your friends who follow those special diets. Um, but anyhow guys, I do hope you find some use for this recipe. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. If you try it, um, take care out there guys. Thanks again for watching. I will see you real, real soon in the next video.